Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the end condition in SQL. So in this example, I'm just going to query one of the tables in uh, our AdventureWorks database. Again, this is a sample database provided by Microsoft and it's free for you to use. And I do have a tutorial on how to download this database. So I'll provide the link in the description below. So do check it out. So in this example, I'm just going to query this table called person.address. So let's say if I want to just check what's inside this table, I can do select top 10 star from person dot address. So this is going to give me the top 10 rows in this table. And I'm selecting all the columns because I have the star keyword here. So if I execute this, I'm going to get 10 rows. So let's say if I want to filter this data by city, uh, I can do something like where city equals Austin. And I'm going to take this condition out. So if we have more than 10 results, we can see those two. So now here I'm going to see everything. So here I'm going to see all the records where the city is Austin. So let's say if I want to also see uh, records where the city is uh, Austin or it's Dallas, I can do or a statement here. So I can do where city equals Austin or city equals Dallas. So now when I execute this, is going to give me both uh, Austin and Dallas and you can do the same with like more cities you can just add them so I can just copy this here and I can do our city equals Houston and I'm just gonna put this in a, in a new row so it's easier to read so here this is gonna give me everything all those records where the city is Austin or Dallas or Houston so all of these scenarios so but every time I add this add a new city I have to add this or condition there is an easier way of doing that and that's where we use the in condition so I can just remove this so remember we have 14 records here and I can just replace the whole thing with the in condition so here's the syntax we are city in open parenthesis and then I can start adding my cities here. So I can put Austin, comma, I can put my second city, which is Dallas, comma, and I can add my third city here, which is Houston. So if I execute this now, I'm gonna get the same results, 14 rows, but this is a lot simpler. And if you are adding like multiple cities, you can do them here. You can just put like comma, add more cities. So in a statement, it just makes the task so much easier. And it's very useful if you are doing like um, anything where you have a filter on like multiple items. So you can just use the in statement. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching.